Hello and welcome. It's Allergy Friendly Feast. And today we're making delicious, egg-free, dairy-free chocolate muffins. And these could easily be gluten-free as well. All you have to do is switch out the wheat flour for gluten flour if you're sick of missing out because you or someone in your family have got allergies. What we're going to need for this recipe is one and a half cups of flour. Could be gluten-free. I'm using gluten flour. A cup of your preferred sugar. We've got a quarter of a cup of cocoa powder. Could be cacao powder as well. Half a teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt. We've got one teaspoon of baking or bicarb soda, depending on what you call it. We've got six tablespoons of your preferred oil. I'm using vegetable oil. And one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, as well as one teaspoon of vanilla essence. And we're going to add a cup of water to this as well, which I haven't shown. Now, this recipe has no eggs, so we're using the bicarb and the vinegar to give it its lift. And this one's great. It's really fluffy. And let me tell you, you probably won't even notice that it doesn't have eggs in it. You might want to make these double choc as well, choc chips. So you could easily add your preferred dairy-free chocolate. This one's made in a dedicated factory, egg-free, dairy-free, nut-free. So that's perfect. Next, we'll preheat our oven to 180 degrees Celsius. And we'll start adding our dry ingredients to the bowl. So we've got our one and a half cups of flour, our one cup of sugar, along with our quarter of a cup of cocoa or cacao powder, depending on what you're using. To that, we'll add our bicarb soda or baking soda. And we'll add our salt, which I'm a bit clumsy getting out here, but that's our pink Himalayan salt. And we'll mix this all together. You could sift it if you want. I'm not really bothering here. I don't think you particularly need to. Now, once you've got it all mixed, however you do that, we're going to start adding the wet ingredients. First up's the cup of water that I didn't have in the ingredients list, along with our six tablespoons of your preferred oil, vegetable oil in this case, our tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, which you can see start to fizz up, and our teaspoon of vanilla essence. We'll get this mixing, nothing crazy here. We'll just mix that up until it looks like a cake batter. I believe with cake batter, though, you're best off not to mix it too much if you can avoid it. Now, this recipe is for 12 muffins. So we got our muffin tray here, of course. I'm giving it a spray with oil. I'll wipe that around with some paper towel off camera to make sure it's all spread out nicely. And when it is, we're going to get our muffin papers into this tray. Now, you can use, obviously, whatever papers you want. My daughter's the one with the allergies, and she likes mixed colours. So here we've got a bit of a rainbow selection of muffin papers. Of course, once they're all in, next thing is to scoop the muffins in, however you do. This little ice cream scoop works perfectly. For me, I find the most accurate way to do this is kind of go round, fill them up about two thirds as much as you think you should, and then come back and top them up later. I mean, maybe you're more accurate than me, but I like to do this so I don't have 10 over full ones and two empty spaces. Once that's done, we'll chuck them in the oven. We're going to bake at 180C or 355 Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes. Give them a turn, see how they're going. Normally I find five to seven more minutes is what we need. And then we'll turn them out onto a cooling rack. Obviously we'll make sure they're fully cool before we move on to doing the icing. And for that dairy-free chocolate frosting or icing, what we have is one and a half cups of powdered sugar or icing sugar two tablespoons of our cacao or cocoa powder, a couple of pinches of pink Himalayan salt. Then we have a quarter of a cup of a dairy-free margarine substitute. Make sure it's nut-free as well. And two tablespoons of either water or a dairy-free milk alternative. My daughter prefers the water, so that's what I'm using here. And we have a teaspoon of vanilla essence. And then we'll start getting the ingredients in the bowl. So first we've got that icing sugar, powdered sugar, our cocoa or cacao, and we're putting the salt in there. So the dry ingredients first, we'll mix that around. Once it's all incorporated, we'll get in the vanilla essence and then our quarter of a cup of our dairy-free spread. So that will add either the milk or the water and we'll get that all beating together. I held off some of the liquid. I don't like my icing to be runny and I find sometimes it can change how much you need. So I added a little bit more in at the end there as we're mixing them around. And then like I did with the batter, I like to just eyeball it, get some on each of the muffins. If I've got some icing mixture left over, then I go back around and top them up with a little bit more like I did here. But once you've got your mix all there, what we're going to do, of course, is come back and just spread it out. Could pipe it. I couldn't be bothered. So I just find it 
spreading it like this works nicely. Sprinkles are a must in my house, of course, that's up to you. But for the, the little one I'm making these for, we got to have sprinkles. This brand Hopper, which is from New Zealand, it's great. Uh, they're egg-free, dairy-free, nut-free, all those allergens. can order them online. Um, they are a little expensive, though, and my daughter's not allergic to any of the colours or flavours. So we also go with these Dollar Sweets brand, which you can get at Woolies and Coles. Uh, they're no artificial colours or flavours, made in Australia, vegan and vegetarian friendly. So that suits what we need. Of course, you might be different, so make sure you do check the label. And they obviously have quite a range as well, easily available and much cheaper. So we'll get all our sprinkles up on these muffins as liberally as you would like. And then all that's left is to give them a try. Now, if you're like me and you're cooking for someone in the family with a number allergies or you have allergies yourself, make sure you give us a comment. Let me know what recipe you'd like me to adapt and I'll do my best to accommodate that. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. It's Allergy Friendly Feast. Thanks for watching.